Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. So I'm going to show you how to make a joy fold card. I've actually already done this on my channel before, but I've done it as a Z fold. This one here is just a standard open and close, but I just think it's a nice fold and it's something really quick and easy to do. So you'll notice that I've used one of my fun critters here. So this is Heidi the Hippo and I've used the photo booth frame from my square slider die set, but you can use anything, but I just thought I would show other ways to use your slider dies because I know lots of you have them. I've also used the props that are new, the stamps, and uh, yeah, I think it's turned out really nice. So you just open up this card. This is what a joy fold is. You open that one, and then you open this one. And inside, it's almost like two cards really. This is like a four and a half squared card, and then this is a six by six. So it's really, really nice. And then you just close, you close that one, and then close that one on top. So it will all fit into a nice six by six envelope. Like I said, very easy to do. So let me show you how. Okay, so the paper pad I've used is this one here, which was given to me. It's the Botanical Gardens by Cartabella. Is it Cartabella? Yeah, Cartabella. And I picked out this one here. So you can just see it there. And then I'm using the Animal Antics. I just love this one. And I've chosen Heidi the Hippo that I'm going to be using today. And I'm also going to use the Birthday Wishes and then Hippo Birthday Cheer, which you can see there I've already stamped to go inside. And then I'm also using the props. This is the photo booth props. And I've used the Unicorn the party hat, the crown and the selfie there which again I've already stamped and cut and all I've used to turn them into little you know props with the little sticks there is just some toothpicks very inexpensive you get 500 here and I pick them up from the pound shop so I've been using those a lot so you'll see there I've got Heidi and I'm going to be sticking her little unicorn kind of hat on top of her there so I've also gone ahead and coloured and stamped there the flowers and these come in the stamp set you can see there you got them here as well the smaller ones you got some stars you got another flower there as well so there's quite a lot in there so i'm doing this as a six by six now the one that i done before as i said was a z fold so i'll link that one up here um, if you want to check that one out but for this one here so i've i've got a six by six pre-made card blank which you'll just cut from a piece of 12 by six but now what I want to do is take three quarters of an inch off of the top piece. So when I lay this in my trimmer, I can see my score line sits perfectly at six inches. I'm going to now bring it down so the score line is at five and a quarter. And that means it's going to cut away just three quarters of an inch on my front part of the card there. So you're just going to see this back side. Now you can come in more, you know, there's so many different ways to do this card. So this is just the one I've done. And another reason why I've, why I've actually done it that size is because I'm working around the Polaroid die that comes in this die set here, which I'll talk about in a moment. Then I've cut this piece of cardstock, which is five and three quarters squared, which is going to go inside there. And then I have this piece, which is five by five and three quarters. And then I've got this piece, which is four and three quarters by five and a half. So first of all, I'm just going to go and get those all stuck down. Okay, then I've got this piece here, which is nine by four and a half. Just check, yeah, nine by four and a half. And what you want to do is along the nine inch side is just score at four and a half and just fold and burnish just to give you a little four and a half squared card there but what we're going to do now is flip this one around so it opens from this direction and you're going to stick it like so so we're going to add glue there and it's going to stick in the middle of this piece so when it opens up it will be in the center of there but then when you close it it will also sit in the center of the front piece and then I've got the mats and layers and everything to go on the front of that one so the easiest way to do this is add your glue onto the back and then I'm going to hang it over the side of that one and just make sure that I've got it, you know, same on each side here. And you can see I've got the same border there. And then I'm just going to close the card. And then I can just open it up. And you can see there it's in the centre of this one as well. You've got a little bit of wriggle space there if you need to move it around. But now it will close up like so. Then I have this one here, which is going to go on the top, and this one here is four and a quarter squared. So I'm just going to stick this one down. 
Okay, so now that's ready for you to decorate. I've then got this one, which is the same again. So this one here is four and a quarter squared, and this one is four by four squared, and that's where I've stamped my sentiment. Again, just add some glue, and that will now sit perfectly inside there. So you can see we've got all those nice mats and layers that all sit perfectly with each other to give you this really nice fun fold. So now I want to do this Polaroid decoration on the front. So what I've done, I just take the plastic off of this just to get the glare from my lamp away. It's a bit better. All of this middle section, if you have this, is your Polaroid piece. So what I've done is with this one here is I've cut two pieces here. Okay, One is actually going to end up being the background to hold it all together. And then what I've done is just cut this rectangle here. These ones are just embossed stitches so it's easy to know that that's the one you need to cut and you can see there I've got that smaller frame. That is basically going to sit on here like so. Now what I've also then gone and done is with that other piece is obviously die cut this one. What you then want is this which is your embossing plate and again that smaller one. Now you could just put the pink over the top and then just emboss but I like to piece it together. I like that to sit inside this one. So you'll see what I'm going to do now. So I'm just going to take this into place. So I want this one and then this one here. So it gives you that Polaroid photo. It's just come up a little bit higher there. There we go. So I'm going to sit that one about there. I'm going to add my tape so it's in the middle bit because I'm not going to keep this piece. So if it does for some reason tear or anything then it would be okay. And then that one just make sure it's nice and straight. And take a little bit of the stickiness off of this one because it is going to stick to that bit there. It just tapes everything in place. That's how you want it to be. So I'm just going to run that through my die machine. Okay, so then I can just carefully remove that one. And now you'll see you get this embossed effect there. And that's where I'm going to stamp another little sentiment. So just pop that one back there. So I've got the Hippo Birthday to You on the inside. So on the front I'm going to have the birthday wishes and it will fit perfectly in that embossed section. I know it's quite hard for you to probably see but if you do have the die set you'll be able to see exactly what it does. So I'm just going to ink this up. So now we can start piecing it all back together. So it's going to sit on this one. Now I could actually have just die cut that in the pink. This is a bit of a lighter weight um, card. This is 300 GSM. So it does get a, give it a bit more of a solid base but I'm then going to piece that one in there like so. But I also want to make sure that my hippo is just kind of in there like so. Now someone did say also about colouring her nails so I think I'm going to do that before I stick this all down. So let's give her the same pink that I've used throughout. Just a little bit of fun. You're not going to see too much of it because it does kind of, you know, get hidden there. And by the time I add the other bits and pieces like the flowers, you'll probably only see a little bit of it. But she's going to basically be like that. So what I'm going to do, because this glue doesn't dry straight away, is I can just slot her in. So I'm just going to attach this one. And then I can see exactly where this one needs to go. And then I can add some glue onto her. And then I can just lift that up ever so slightly, just to slide her in there. I don't mind things overhanging, that's what I want it to, to do, So, but I do want to get that kind of all in place. But now we've got our little Polaroid picture there which is going to go and sit perfectly in the center of our card there. So now we can start adding all these fun decorations which is the bit I love to do. So I'm going to add one of the flowers there. So I'm just going to add some. I'm using hot glue just because it's quick. Now I've got the selfie sign which is going to go at the top there. Now she also needs to have on her, so let's just move that across a little bit. Whilst that glue's still drying, there we go. And she can have her little, her little crown on there. Just got a little bit of hot glue, not where I wanted it. But I, and then I want her to hold some of her props. So I'm going to have that one as if she's holding it, but it's slightly hidden behind the flower there. And then this one is going to go 
here and that again can be concealed underneath that flower there so use you know use these bits to your advantage to hide things so that's just caught with the same glue there so I don't need to worry about sticking that anymore and what I'll do is I'll just add some more glue behind that piece and then that can just slide in there so there's a really fun pretty card here and it needs a few more flowers I'm going to just try and hide a little bit of that glue in fact maybe we'll do that one there and just about get away with that one we'll pop a little one next to it as well so yeah it just takes the eye away it's just a little bit of glue hidden now underneath there <laughs> you would never know but I like making these cards very full as you know anyway so just take a little bit of that away and I'm going to put one more in there and then this one I'm going to keep and I'm going to pop it inside the card just to keep that kind of little bit of the theme going throughout and we can have that one like so so now I'm going to grab my cutout and then it wouldn't be a finished card without some glossy accents and I always love to add them onto the eyes of the characters so I'm going to do a nice blob there as always we will say it goes on cloudy but it dries completely clear but I'm also going to put a little dot in the centre of the flowers there as well okay and there is the finished card I love the glitter and then the shine there from the glossy accents and then you just open it up and inside you have lots of space to write your message so there is another version of the Joyfold card I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial I'll link up the other Joyfold card here along with something similar that I think you might like as well so thanks for watching and I'll be back again very soon bye